Okay, just to give a recap, we've, uh, we've got our vent circuit hooked up. We've got the gas ready to turn on. Uh, we've got the Aeronox ready to turn on. What I usually do is start the vent first just so we can start some gas running through the circuit. So we've got, just put some standard settings on here, you know, amplitude and frequency set at 12 o'clock position. And then we'll release our mean. Again, this isn't going to be an in-service on the TXP, so hopefully uh, they already know how to use this part. Uh, so you've got gas flowing through the circuit. We're going to go ahead and turn our Aeronox on. And we're going to skip the, uh, the splash screen. Remember that was our calibration screen. So now we're running NO through the machine, through the vent. And we should be getting a reading. Again, so we adjust our flow here. And we see our number here. There's a flush procedure, it says crank it up to 2 liters to just clear all the NO and NO2 out of the line, I mean the NO2 out of the line. Once you see this number rising, I usually back off back to around 0.7 for a high frequency vent. See over here our, our O2 is high. We're going to silence this alarm and we're going to go ahead and crank up our O2 alarm. So we're going to hit this and O2. We're going to go up on our high limit. Just so we don't have a problem with that alarm anymore. So our NO is a little low here. We want to get 20 parts per million. We're going to go up on this. There's a little lag time on the numbers. Fine tuning is kind of an art, so you just, a little goes a long way. And you just go up until you get that 20 parts per million. When it's on a test lung, it's quite a bit different than on a patient uh, because obviously you've got a little lung here versus the baby's lung. It usually doesn't take more than a liter per minute. Our cow might have been off a little too. So that's basically it. And then we'll want to be monitoring the NO2 over here. One part per million is your, uh, your alarm, high limit alarm here. So some important things to know on these alarms is that on the high limit alarm for the NO, This number here, if it gets five parts per million above the high limit alarm, then it goes into a mode where it shuts the nitric off. It's a safety mechanism. Now, once you fall back within that range, then it'll it'll turn the alarm, uh, it'll delatch the alarm, and it'll start the nitric again. But it does turn the nitric off. It doesn't let it spike much higher than the high limit alarm. The NO2 here. This alarm that you set is the high limit alarm for the NO2, and if it gets one part per million above the high limit alarm, then it shuts the nitric off. So those are two important safety mechanisms to know when you're teaching the Aeronox. So one other important thing to know is the uh, any changes you make to the vent, since all of this is flow controlled. If you make a change to your amplitude, you're going to have to go back and recheck your settings here on the Aeronox. Um, 
That's just the nature of the, uh, the vent. So if we go down a little lower on our amplitude, we see our NO number going up. So therefore we'd have to decrease our leader flow to get that back down to the 20 parts per million that we want. And then that pretty much concludes the uh, in-service on a patient. Uh, next we'll go into the uh, backup system.